Act like you love him. Come on. That kind of cheer for me. I ain't not going to cheer for me. Give God praise. God, my God, I feel so good right now. I feel so blessed. I tell you, it, it's, it's just beautiful. Now, people, again. Oh, thank you, Evan and that Payne, for that post you put out there. I forgot. Evan D, I forgot about it. Ben's Rose Matt Reynolds. This month is Pastor Appreciation Month. I ain't know nothing about it. I forgot about it. All they said nothing since, since uh, September. Y'all did? I was trying to go in the spirit. Oh, I was gone. Mm. Yeah, I'm praying for the mind. Thank you. I'm praying for the mind. Thank y'all. Good grief. Okay, yeah. He said there was war going on at the time. So my mind was in the heavenlies, in the spirit realm. So anyway, y'all, uh, during this time with Corona, with the pandemic, I want our mind is so important. As I was studying something in the Bible, your heart, do y'all know how much your heart is connected to your brain? I'm not talking about physically now. But it is. It's, it, it's, it's attacked big time to your brain. Uh, let me show you something. Um, in the Bible, first of all, Father, help us. It's hot. Him, help us, Father. Because we need this. There's so many people out there suffering right now. It don't make any sense. I got a text from someone that's obviously having some mental issues. Seriously, one is not even them. It's all around out there. And I want to kill Corona. I believe God is going to kill Corona through soldiers. Amen. Through the church. Amen. Not through the government, but through the church. church. Yes. Through his chosen. I heard someone say, I heard a gospel rapper say yesterday, and I want y'all to hear this. He said, you're supposed to be uh, one of the chosen, and you're still collecting junk, junk like Sanford and Son. You're supposed to be one of the chosen, and he said, you're still collecting junk like Sanford and Son. I know what that meant. Turn loose everything but God. Turn loose everything but Jesus. Y'all hear me? Paul said, I am determined not to know anything among you save me except Jesus Christ and him crucified. But I want your emotions to be fit. I don't want you to be depressed, anxiety attacks. Uh, hold on, I'm going to show you all how the power of God works. Stand up, Angela, right where you are. Stand up, baby. Stand up, Angela. Angela, give him a big smile, baby. All the way back. All the way back. Uh, you better hear me up in here. Angela. Angela, you ready to a podcast, too. Oh, she can return. Oh, she ready to go for Jesus. Thank you, Angela Jones. That's a prayer we do for you. Y'all hear me? My God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Power and prayer. So, Father, help us. Now, get this ready. Listen to me. Because I want to show you something right before I pray for your brain. In the scriptures of the Bible, it says, And he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. That's Matthew 9 1, word for word. And came into his own city. Are we in our own church today? Yeah. Oh, come on up 
seven years and came to his own city. And they brought to him a man sick. Uh oh, Lord, have mercy. They brought to who? Jesus. A man sick. That ain't him. Bring your sick self to Jesus. Bring your sick mind to Jesus. Your sick emotions. Your sick money. Your sick life. Bring it to Jesus. They brought to him a man sick of a palsy of the palsy lying on a bed. How many of y'all been laying in the bed too long sometimes? Y'all better come on, y'all better hear me. Uh, I see your hand up. Oh, you ain't the only one. We said ain't enough for you. But some people are lying in their bed uh, extra because there's an issue with the mind, with the emotion, or with the body, with the feelings, you hear me? So they lie in a safe place, so they think. Mm, but the enemy is around. Lying in a bed. But one thing that Jesus Christ noticed, seeing their faith. Seeing their faith. Stop hanging around faithless people. You can't even get a prayer through. Jesus seen their faith. He wasn't talking about the sick man's faith. He was talking about his friends and family, the ones that brought him to Jesus. Sometimes you're going to have to have faith when the person you're praying for don't have a lick of faith. But you can have enough faith to get them through. I've been there. Done it. Seeing their faith, he said it to the sick of the palsy. And I'm going to tell you this in your mind today. The first thing he said to them, he said, and he said to the sick of the palsy, son, daughter, be of good comfort. It's right there, word for word, all in the ninth chapter. Be of good comfort. How many of you are uncomfortable in your own houses? On your own job, in your own bedroom, in your own automobile. How many of you are uncomfortable in your life? And guess how many of you are uncomfortable in your mind? Uh -huh, see, in your mind. To be of good comfort, thy sins be forgiven thee. Oh, hold on, I'm getting to the part I want you to hear. He said, some people sitting around said, hold on, that man blaspheming. Who can heal sins but God? He's blaspheming. But hold on. Jesus, knowing their thoughts. Uh-oh. You got some funky thoughts? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus knowing their thoughts said wherewith are you thinking evil in your heart hold on how can he say hey hold on hold on back up back up hold on back up wherefore why are you thinking evil Thinking comes with. But that ain't what he said. He said thinking evil in your hearts. But he knew their thoughts. But their thinking was coming from the heart. So a man thinking so is. It's, they said there's so much legalized reefer now. That in D.C., they're smoking so much reef without going to jail that they're throwing the blunts down on the ground. Well, Y'all better hear me. Ready? Guess what's happening? People
people are walking there, dogs are getting high. The dogs are getting high now. True story. The dogs are getting high off reefer. Demonic. They have symptoms, and you take them to the vet. The vet told them, uh, your dog is high. He said, I've had about four or five do dogs to come in high for the past couple weeks. Are y'all kidding me? He said, the dog's mind, they said, the dog's mind is now just way out there. If a dog mind is way out there, uh, what is it doing to the humans? Y'all better hear me. By the way, sex cannot heal your mind. I'm going to say that again. Sex cannot cure your emotions. Sex cannot heal your feelings. Come on, ring the bell. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Go ahead, blow the whistle. That's right, blow the whistle on that one. If I could just, you know, if I could just go sleep with somebody. Oh, oh, yeah, I'll feel better. If I could just go get me some, I'll feel better. And then when you get it, you're worse. Now you got condemnation in your feelings. Now you got, I never should have slept with that bum. I never should have slept with that hole. What church are you in? Yeah, yeah this is not a count of gentler church. Thank you. You better hear me up in here. Liquor is not going to heal your brain, your emotions. Cigarettes not going to calm you down, but for... Yeah. Cigarettes. I see so many people smoking like crazy now. Arm all out the window driving at the red light. I had a guy in front of me yesterday at the 7-Eleven, and he was acting like I had Corona. He was. He had a t-shirt on, big guy too, about this big. Have mercy on him. And he was acting like I had Corona because, because everywhere I went, he was making a movie in the line, right? I'm right behind him in the line. So I'm looking at him, I'm like, okay, I'm going to give you your space. He gets up to the cashier. And that rascal bought six packs of cigarettes. Yeah. Two almost new ports. Cigarettes not gonna help you. So right now, y'all, get ready. Because I want God to heal your mind and your bodies. And I believe your mind and your body. I want you to feel like pastors feeling right now. Not, I'm telling y'all, come on. I'm not exaggerating. I feel like I'm 25 years old. You know, 25 is my birthday, so I'm going to use 25. I feel like I'm 25 years old. After that assault from hell on me. That was a serious assault. The devil told me, I'm going to kill you. So you're not going to kill me. You can't kill me. I got the hand of the Lord on me. You hear me? But well, hold on now. He said, think of evil in your heart. So he said, but so that you will know. Say, I want to know. I want to know. That the Son of Man have power. Oh. Woo. On earth. To forgive sin. For is it easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Rise up and walk. Oh my God. Is it easier to say, Take radiation and chemotherapy or to say your cancer is gone in Jesus' name. Is it easier to shoot up insulin or to say, mm, I have no more diabetes in Jesus' name. Is it easier to blow through that thing or to, or to declare I don't have asthma anymore in Jesus' name. Is it easier to say my son, my grandson has ADHD and the council want to pull him on some type of Drug for their what? Mind. Come on up for their what? Mind. Not for their heart, but for their mind. mind. 
Jesus said, uh-uh. By the power of God in Jesus' name, they have to let their mind be in Christ Jesus be in you. They have a sound mind. Come on up here, y'all. We're the church. We're not going to be a bunch of punks out there. The devil's running crazy seeking whom he may devour. And we've got to kick his butt 24 7, seven days a week in the name of Jesus. Get out of my mind, liar. Get out of my joints. Get out of my bones, liar. Get out of my finances, liar. Get out of my children and my grandchildren. Get out of my belly. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. He said, Arise and walk, for it's easy. Then he said to the sick of the palsy, Arise and go. Somebody hear God, hear God telling you that he, he's got your name on it. Arise and go higher. Arise and go further. Arise and go in peace. Arise and go in prosperity. Arise and go in sound mind. Arise and go in a good life. Arise and go in joy. Go in gladness in your heart. Arise and know who you are. I was in tongues for an hour before I came this morning. Amen. For a whole hour, I was in tongues. My family can tell you that they was getting dressed and brushing teeth, and I'm in tongues. Power, rise, he said. And go into thine house, and the Bible said, and he arose and went into his home. Home, and when the people saw it. I like that last verse. And I like that last verse. That last verse said, and when the people saw it, when the people saw it, they marveled. But hold on, here's my favorite part. And glorify God. Hold on, here you go. Ready? So this next verse is for me. Say it. This next verse is for me. And they marveled and glorified God, which had given such power unto men. Lord, I want that power. Give me that power. Oh, come on over here. Give me that power. We say, give me men such power. Do you want that kind of power in your life? You can have it. All you got to do is have faith and give it to me. All you got to do is surrender all. All you got to do is say, Lord, use me. Teach me. Guide me. I'm yours. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't belong to the world anymore. I want that kind of power. Supernatural power. Healing power. Glory. Deliverance power. Yes. Cast out demon power. Yes. Breaking curse power. Yes. Holiness, righteousness power. Yes. Thinking can affect your heart. Yes. So, I believe that some people are going to get this because there's some people who have broken hearts. Yes, God. I know a woman who I don't know her personally, but I saw a long time ago. Her husband left her. Her husband left her for another woman. Guess what she did? Are you ready? She broke down so deep into her mind, into her emotional feeling, that she didn't come outside her door for a whole year. She didn't go to the store. Somebody had to go for her. She didn't go to church. She didn't go to work. For a whole year, she stayed inside the house because the broken heart broke her mind. Jesus. That's how important Satan know our mind is. That's why God said, guard your mind. Guard it. But can't nobody guard it like Jesus. Mm-mm. And people think they got it going on, think they smart. Mm -hmm. Then they got a whole lot of, 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 of. They say back in the day, street sense. No. Uh, they get that God sense. Right. Now, for you to be healed, my God, my God. Let me tell you something right now. I want your bones healed. 
I want you. I, I want you to get more faith. You hear me? Yes. I do. I don't want you to get it. Y'all do me a favor. I'm gonna take this meat. Just on the Bible, just on my Bible up and just hand it to me. I'm gonna take this meat. And I'm gonna throw it in the air. I want you to eat this meat. So, because I'm gonna tell you why. Ready? Put this in your mouth and eat it. So put it in your mouth and eat it. Okay, you got it? Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's some good meat, isn't it? Huh? Huh? Well, the Lord wants you to eat that meat. He does. He's feeding us that meat. You hear me? Now, Lord, you have blessed my food and water. And have taken sickness away from me. Jesus. Who took it away from you? Taking sickness away from me. Ooh. Therefore, I will fulfill the number of my days in hell. See, I'm going to learn. I'm going to live to be 120 years old. Because the Bible says so. It didn't say 80. For his children. My God, my God, my God. Hold on now. Ooh. Ooh. Father, impart your word into their mind right now. Mm. Restore health to their mind and body right where they are right now. In the name of Jesus. Did I just feed y'all some meat? Yes. Huh? Yes. Why did I feed y'all meat? You know why? Because the book of Acts 37, I'm sorry, 27, 34 said, Wherefore I pray you to take some meat. Good God Almighty. Wherefore I pray for you to take some meat. Didn't you just take that meat? Yes. Why? For this is for your health. Mm. Yes. Hold on. Ladies, men, guess what it said? For there shall not in hell fall from the head of any of you. We ain't talking about going bald. He talking about have fallen out because you're sick. Have fallen out because chemotherapy and radiation. Have fallen out because, guess what? You're nervous. Depression. Uh, do you know that depression can cut some uh, air on y'all? I see Diamond back there fanning her and anything. And you. Come on, cut some air on. In the name of Jesus, do you know that depression can take your hair out? Lots of it. Mm. The Lord to heal your mind. Heal your mind. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest what? Prosper and what? And be in good health, even as thy soul prosper. Hold on now. I want your parents to be healthy. And they answer, thy servant, our father, is in good health. He is yet alive. No premature deaths in here. No untimely death. Every time I turn it around, hold on. Somebody just, oh, you told me, hold on. Y'all better hear this. Evangelist Rosa. Y'all know her daughter, Evangelist Mariah, right? Who became a preacher in here at the age of 14, right? Okay, guess what? She lives in Richmond. And in her church, in her church, hear me now. Oh, oh. He's a preacher at that church a lot. Okay. So this preacher preached at their church and say, turn it out. Hold on now. I got to, oh, 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 I didn't forget his 25 years of age at the 2 5 again. Uh, then I say I felt. 25 today? Yeah. This preacher turned the church out, she said. 25 years old. Then they turned it out, didn't he? They liked him so much, they invited him to come in and preach several times. But guess what? The church is messed up today. Guess why? He's a dead man. 
He dropped dead. Why did he drop dead at 25, a preacher? Why? And they say he was a bold soldier. Say he was a bold soldier. He, 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 he was the type of guy that you knew he loved the Lord. And he Sold out for Jesus. You know how you are. Yeah, know how I am. And he died. In the name of Jesus. Father God, put a, a, a hedge of protection around every preacher in this country right now. Every minister. Every evangelist. Every pastor. Cover them right now in the name of Jesus. There's no weapon formed against them. No demon from hell. No assignment from hell. Having the power against the preachers. No more premature deaths for preachers. Oh, I just saw something. That's what. I wonder if they ever been to church like, like what I just saw like after I said that. If they didn't pick up what I just saw. See all y'all in here right now? All of a sudden I looked up and every one of y'all was a preacher. Jesus. I looked up and everybody in here was a preacher. Good gracious. Oh, oh. I wonder if we ever seen that before. But guess what? Preachers and non-preachers, you got to get your mind right. You got to get your emotions and your feelings right. Because the enemy is attacking our mind on lots of stuff. How many get stressed out easy now? I know you ain't going to raise your hand. Some raise your hand. Some get stressed out. How many dealing with high blood pressure right now? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. High blood pressure. Uh-huh, uh-huh. How many dealing with fatigue? Always tired. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How many dealing with insomnia? Can't hardly sleep at night. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How many dealing with their appetites? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And other things that start right here. And goes here into your body. But in the name of Jesus. Ooh. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages. Teaching in their synagogues. And preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And healing every sickness. And every disease. Among the people. Every demon that's among us right now. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over you and I command you to go. 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 And never return your lying talk. Go from their bones. Go from their joints. Go from their backs. Go from their eyes, ears, and throat. Go from their lungs. Go from their kidneys. Go from their colon. Go from their pancreas. Go from their blood. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Go from their mind. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. I cancel your assignment. Yes. I cancel your dragons. Yes. I cancel your demons. I cancel them. I declare in everybody in here they have a better mind than you ever had in your life. Yeah. Have better thoughts, better feelings than you've ever had in your whole life. Starting now. Yeah. I don't care what they say about Corona. Starting now. I don't care how scared they are. Starting now. I don't care about the negative reports. One just came out. If we've already had over 200,000 people dead, how come you gonna say by the end of this year, which is only about two more months left, that it's gonna double? Four hundred thousand people gonna be dead. Man, get out of my face! Fauci said it. Anthony said it. Uh, excuse me, Anthony. Who's report am I to believe? Yours or God's? In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Every one of you that got something from your ancestors, uh -oh. any of you got something handed down through the bloodline to your brain, to your body, uh-oh, 
Uh oh. Let's give it for a minute. What you doing with 10 people in your family with diabetes? What you doing with five already dying of cancer? What you doing with 10 of them drunk? What you doing with 30 of them poets? I don't know, as old Joe's turkey as my mom used to say. <laughs> what you doing with, 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 with six or seven of them being their wives? Uh, say it. There's a family in this area, in Clinton area. Yeah, in the Clinton area, a family? Oh, stop it there, Miss Long. You talking about right here in Clinton, Maryland. A family lost eight members to Corona. Yeah, and 14 total had it. 14 total had it and eight died of Corona. In Prince George's County, in this city that we're in right now, where we have not had one Corona at the best. Not one, and we'll never get one. I better declare it again. I'm going to declare it again. If coronavirus touch your body, If coronavirus touch any of us, that in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, pretend this is a mosquito. Come on, look at me now. Here's a little mosquito. This is corona. But picture it as a little mosquito. And this is us. This is you. Here come the mosquito. Some of this stuff on the mind, but let me give you something right now. I wrote this stuff. Ooh, ooh, Corona news. So get Corona. I ain't thinking about Corona right now. Okay. Anybody here ever had seizures? You don't have them no more. Remember? Anybody had them before? Anybody having them now? Anybody that's having seizures or had them? Let me tell you something. EEG. If you have had seizures, that little boy in the Bible had a bad seizure, didn't he? And multitudes followed him when he came down from the mountain. Multitudes followed him. And the little twelve-year-old boy was down there having a seizure. Lord, Lord, the daddy said, Lord, please help my little boy. Uh oh, don't be like this. I brought him to the disciples, but they could not help him. Uh oh, hold on. If you are listening to worldly music, cussing and everything in your, in your ear hole, your power will be gone. There won't be no power. <laughs> how, come I, how am I going to let you cast this seed out this person when you're still using some of my instruments? You can fake out everybody else, but you can't fake G out. You can fool the pastor, but you can't fool G. You can fool the members, but you can't fool G. Jesus knows. He says this. He says, oh, oh, I love this when he says, all, he said, for all of their ways, He's, he's, for mine eyes are upon all their ways. For mine eyes are upon all their ways. Oh, what? Jesus, you can see me when I'm at the club shaking my booty. <laughs> on Saturday night, I go to church on Sunday. Jesus, you can see me when I'm shacking. You can see me when I'm having sex and we're not Jesus, you can see me smoking that blunt, smoking that coke. 
Jesus, you can send me a man sleeping with a man and a woman sleeping with a woman. For their way, for my eyes are upon all their ways. Hold up. Ooh. And he said, he said that they are not hid from my eyes. No, but from my face. They are not hid from my face. Hold on. And neither is their iniquity hid from my eyes. Hold up. But I was in a hold on, but I was in a back room at the hotel motel all day in. With all the lights out, parked my car blocks from the motel. <laughs> had her to go, I had him to go up first. And I went in, I gave him a false name at the front desk. I told the people I was going over here, but now I'm over here. And you can see me. <laughs> yeah. I see you when you're cussing. Come on. Oh, Lord. Lord, I knew you was going to give me that scripture. He said, Behold, the Lord's hand my God, is not so short that it cannot save. Neither is his ear so heavy that he cannot hear. What? <laughs> I thought I was getting away with some stuff. No. He see it all. Uh -oh, uh oh, he see it all. He see it all. He see it all. He see it all. So, if you have had seizures, your doctor may order an electronic phallogram to determine if he or she has epilepsy, which often occurs in people with cerebral palsy. In an EEG test, a series of electrodes are affixed to your child's brain. I know a lady that had her son in the hospital for a whole week. Guess what? And when she sent me a picture of this little boy, he looked like he was uh, Frankenstein. They had this boy's brain and everything hooked up. Guess why? Because he was having problems sleeping. So they were going to do all this electrical, all this stuff to see why he's not sleeping. People, come on, y'all. I'm taking my brain to the Lord. Amen. So, and guess what? And they still didn't find, they still couldn't tell her nothing. Now, it says this, it says that the EEG records the electrical activity of your brain. Looking for chances in normal patterns of brain waves. Okay, y'all ready? Okay, ready? Now, you got electricity in your head. And the devil can mess with your brain waves. He can mess with you. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> but I can diagnose a demon. Say, that. Yes. Say it again. And if you're getting dizzy. If you're losing your balance in walking. Come on, If you pass out. And don't remember nothing when you come back. All of these are attacks in your head. And people are going through this every day. But guess what right now? Say supernatural. Say spiritual. Spiritual. I got my hand on your brain. And every electro load, everything in your head. Guess what? I'm caught. I'm going to do something that they can't do in the world. If there are electrical wires over there, if there's electricity running through something, what's going to happen if they come over there and set it afire? Mm. But guess what? In the spirit realm, 
I call it on fire on your brain right now. I call fire on your head. That in the name of Jesus, that the fire is burning all around your electrodes in your brain right now. Your brain waves are on that Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus, your thought patterns. There's no AD, AD. There's no Alzheimer demons going to get you. There's no uh, 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 dementia devils can handle your mind. There's no bipolar demon that can handle you. In the name of Jesus, all the people been diagnosed with bipolar now. In the name of Jesus, I declare your mind settled down. I declare your mind is not rushing. I declare that your anxiety attacks are over. In the name of Jesus, panic attacks are over. Depression. Then, hold on. Church is full of depressed people. Depression is dangerous. That's why people commit suicide because they're depressed. This is why people are killing people out there because they're depressed. Angry. Depressed and angry. The devil can depress you and make you angry while you're depressed. The minutes alone. Remember when we, when we was on the radio? But you never heard of this. Remember like we was on the radio? We were praying for their mind and everything. And a young man called us up on the air live. You know what he said, y'all? He said, every time I listen to Lil Wayne music, I want to go out and hurt somebody. Did he say it? I want to go out and hurt somebody right out there listen to his music. He ain't the only one. Hold up. Uh-oh. The Lord just put in my spirit. Some of y'all in here looking funny all of a sudden. I know why. <laughs> I don't care what pastor say. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to that music. I'm listening to my music. I don't care what pastor say. I'm listening to that stuff. Hmm, they don't stop me again. I'm going to listen to that worldly crap. Hmm. Ain't no demons in my music. I don't care what Pastor said. Let me tell you something right now. The prince of the power of the air is not stupid. Satan's name. God called him that. Jesus called him the prince. Prince in charge. Prince of the power of the what? That means that he is up there ready to put stuff into your spirit from the airways. Oh God. So if you want to sit there and listen to music, oh hold on, God. I done heard this so many times. I just heard it in my ear hole. Some of y'all older people. Well they don't cuss in my music. Uh excuse me. I'm gonna tell you what Canton Jones said. If they ain't if they ain't loving on Jesus if they ain't loving on, no, they're not loving on Jesus in that music. They're loving on each other, not even married. Well, they're telling you how they can shake it up and shake it down. <laughs> and turn it around. Come on up in here. That's what they singing. They singing about fleshly love. They're singing about, about the kind of love uh, 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 the, a lot of Passion. Yeah. That's what they're talking about. They're not talking about Jesus' love. But yet you're going to listen to it. And then some of y'all let y'all children listen to it in the house. Boy, as soon as I hear these people over here talk on some blood As soon as I hear this Jones group right here. Uh, 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 let me tell you what praise did to me last Sunday coming from church last Sunday. Pray tried to mess with me last Sunday. So, so you know, he was chauffeuring us. He was driving a ride. And we, we had a good time last Sunday. So we're riding, and I hear this music. I'm thinking it's gospel. Until I heard something. I said, pray. What's this stuff you playing in my car? And I just come from the church. 
He said, oh, it's gospel. I said, yeah, right. See, he was playing with me. So he took it off. He's playing with me. But I'm telling my kids all the time, I don't care if they came from Walt Disney. Don't play it. Y'all, get it out your house, y'all. Huh? Oh, yeah. I had a lot of music. I couldn't get away from it. I love my music. Man, I love my music. I was one of the best musical collectors in Washington, D.C. Thousands and thousands. And I had the best. Guess what? When I got saved, I tried to fake it for a while. I tried to listen to a little gospel. Yeah, and then go back to the music. Play the little gospel in the car, then go back to the world of music. I don't know who I'm telling this today, but it's going to your mind, it's going to your heart, it's going to your life. And then one day, I was feeling so bad. And stop trying to fake out there until you make it. I'm at the red light faking it. I'm at the red light pumping my worldly music. And as soon as a car pulled up next to me, I turn it down. <laughs> Just in case they know I'm a Christian. Just in case they know I go to church, I turn it down. So you pull off from the light. Boom, 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 bam, 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 Tootie fruity. Oh, Rudy. Then one day. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Dancing and everything at the wedding. Y'all be at y'all be at the reception. Dancing to your music. Yeah. So we did see him come on out. But hold on. So this preacher, I asked, I said, you know what? I got a problem. I can't stop listening to worldly music. What can I do? She said, What? Well, Angela, only one thing to tell you. If God don't tell you, if you gonna be gospel, then be gospel. All the way. I got delivered instantly. Amen. If you're going to be gospel, if your mind going to be gospel, if your body going to be gospel, then be gospel. Ooh, can't serve two masks because you will hate one love the other. Hold on. Hold on now. I got so delivered that I went home and destroyed all my music. I got, I got seven minutes. I went home and I destroyed all my worldly music. I want you to repeat this before we leave here. I want you to repeat this. But that little boy that had the seizures, I'm going to tell you what Jesus said. Bring him hither to me. Trying to give me some Pepsi, Pepto Bismol. Bring your mind hither to me. Bring your body, bring your emotions, bring your feelings, bring your money hither to me. Bring your whole family hither to me. And Jesus, ooh, hold that peace. Shut your lying mouth and come out. Of here. Oh my dog, got it. Oh, I want you to repeat these. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost right now. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. The blood of Jesus. The blood. The blood. The blood. I said the blood. Say the blood. The blood. Say evil gotta go. 
Everything in your mind that's not from God is evil. Everything that's in your body that's not from God is evil. Y'all ready? Yeah. Sometimes you got to call those things out. Sometimes you got to open your mouth and let the devil. Hold on. Let your own brain hear what you're getting ready to say. Let your body, your heart. I saw a lady this morning. I told my children. She had a stroke. I saw this limp this morning and I saw it. I said, they girl, I hate strokes. Evil. Y'all ready? Here we go. Say, Jesus. Jesus. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Deliver me from evil. Deliver me from evil. Jesus. Lord. Lord. Keep me. Keep me. And my whole house. From evil. From evil. No evil, no evil will, touch me. will touch me. My God, my God. Ooh. I don't know, we might be the most powerful church in the United States of America. Amen. Say it again. We are. We are. Know who you are. Know whose we are. Put to shame. Put to shame. Put to shame. Them that wish me evil. Say witches, witches and warlocks. And warlocks. Let, no evil Let no evil disease, disease sickness, sickness cling to my body. My including coronavirus. Hey. Anybody gonna follow me when I run out the door and run down the street? Yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like running right now. Like See, that's why we gotta get a bigger church because there gonna be some time where I wanna take off running around that thing. Yeah. 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 So, Van Pound said, "Me too," and and some of y'all. If we was in one of them big places where, where you had a clear path, sure, a lot of y'all be running around there. <laughs> Come on, yeah, but that, that one we ran around in North Carolina. Yeah. Now, 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 here's where the devil tries to get to your mind. Ready? Say, Lord, Lord. let no evil Evil. Words. Words. Let no evil. Let no evil. Information. Information. Let no evil. Let no evil. Oh, let no evil tidings. <laughs> let no evil report. Let no evil sight. Let no evil sight. Mess with my mind. Mess with my mind. No my feelings. No my feelings. No my heart. No my heart. Ooh, no my spirit. No my spirit. Ooh, I got three minutes. Ooh. Ooh. Say Lord. Lord. Preserve me. Preserve me. From all evil. From all evil. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I wish I had grown up in a church like this. I wouldn't have gone through all the crap I went through all the many years. If I, had, if I had grown up in a church like this, if I had got this type of stuff in the church I was growing up in, I could have avoided a lot of demons, a lot of mess that I opened the door to out of total ignorance and, and lack of knowledge. But you hang around here, the devil can't kill you because you're going to know too much. Come on now. Oh, here's a good one. Lord, I say this every day in my prayers now. Deliver me from the evil man and woman. Male and female. I say it every day. Because it's in the Bible. Hold on. 
Say, Lord. Lord. I surrender my brain. I surrender my brain. Into your hands. Into your hands. I surrender my body. I surrender my body. Into your hands. Into your hands. Therefore. Therefore. I'm restored. I'm restored. I've been made whole. I've been made whole. From the crown of my head. From the crown of my head. To the soles of my feet. From the crown of my head. To the tips of my fingers. To the tips of my fingers. I am. I am. The healthiest person. The healthiest person. On earth. On earth. And my mind. And my mind. Is solid for life. Is solid for life. And my body. And my body. Is healed for life. Is healed for life. And know what else, Jesus? Know what else, Jesus? I'm going to stay holy for life. And I'm stay holy for life. Righteous for life. Righteous for life. I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you. With my mind. With my mind. With my body. With my body. With my spirit. With my spirit. With my finances. With my, finances. With my family. With my career. With, my career. With all of me. With all of me. If you, if you, if you are talking to the Lord. And you know that that is what you want to do. Then give God praise up in hell. I'm done. Give him praise up in hell. Give God glory. For he deserves the glory. He deserves the praise. He deserves it all. He deserves you. He deserves us.